All right, it's time for us to look at the headlines across Nigerian newspapers this morning. And uh, really interesting headlines, uh, different ways, depending on how you want to see it. Uh, I have with me our regulars on a Friday. Sheson Kwade is here, Chetad Accountant. It's nice to have you join me. Good this morning, morning, Mike. Happy and, New Year. And Happy New Year. The last time I saw you was last year. Oh, yeah. It's so been so it's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you. Good, nice to to Good to see you. Good to see you. And uh, joining me via Zoom, Chris K. Ndengwandu, CKN CEO. It's nice to have you join me, Chris. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my people. Uh -huh. It's going to be a great year for us. No, of course. That, that's, that's, that's our hope and uh, that's the expectation. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Great. Now, let's begin with the Guardian newspaper. Guardian is where we start from. And it says, 10 years after Occupy Nigeria, Buhari battles fuel subsidy. 10 years after Occupy Nigeria, recalled the protest in 2012, in January 2012. Buhari battles fuel subsidy, right? It's still a back and forth to be or not to be, how and how not, and so on. Let's move to Daily Times. Daily Times says, no corrupt person can go scot-free by joining the APC. That's the Buhari, President Buhari is saying this. I uh, said so that he wouldn't play the role of a, uh, of a kingmaker uh, in the choice of his successor. Okay, and warns that if APC doesn't settle its uh, disagreements, the PDP will take over. Right? These are issues on the front page of the Daily Times. But the strong one there, no corrupt person can go scot-free by joining the APC. All right? We might take a look at this as we get along on the discussion. Blueprint newspaper says uh, joining APC won't save corrupt politicians from trial. President Buhari saying this. Uh, let's put our house in order to uh, stave off the PDP's 2015 woes. All right. Insists that he won't be a kingmaker in 2023. It says a long working hours telling on him. I expect Nigerians to give me a pat on the back. Ah, all right. And warns governors against uh, imposing candidates. All right, we certainly will look at uh, this issue from that perspective. Daily Independent says opposition can, can take over in 2023. Buhari warns the APC, asks a party to put house in order, says old age telling on him, and corrupt persons won't go scot-free by joining the APC. Okay, all right, that's uh, the Daily Independent. This Nigeria is focusing on insecurity. Military kills 1,910 criminals in eight months. Intercepts over 6,491, oh, 6 million, 6.5 oh, 6 million liters of uh, stolen crude. And uh, deactivates 145 illegal refineries in the Niger Delta. All right, all that on the front page of this Nigeria. News Direct is next. Nigeria News Direct says uh, insecurity 1,487 bandits, terrorists killed in seven months. Defense headquarters is reeling out these figures. Leadership newspaper is. Uh, Leadership newspaper says, drawing the boundaries, defense headquarters warns politicians against use of military uniforms for campaigns. All right, that's what the leadership says. Good. Now, Daily Trust newspaper uh, says, terrorists kill dozens in Zamfara villages, attackers using locals as human shield, and Turji others moving to new abodes. All right, that's... Uh, Intelligence gathering is revealing all of these, right? That's a daily trust newspaper. Nigerian pilot is next. He's talking about mass killings. Nigeria ranks eighth. Early warning project ranks Nigeria eighth among 162 countries with high mass killings. Says Nigeria behind Pakistan, India, Yemen, Afghanistan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Guinea, and Ethiopia. That report just came out now, and uh, we just briefly talked around it uh, uh, in the last previous discussion we just had. From there, let's go to the Punch newspaper and Super Tucano deployment. 
Nigeria Air Force plans bandits' bombardment, allays fears over civilian casualties, and U.S. warns uh, federal government. All right. Military to target forests, bandits' camps, not civilian areas. Usage must conform with international norms, U.S. tells the federal government. Recall that uh, Nigeria had uh, sought the clearance of the United States based on their agreement on how to use the, or deploy the Super Tucanos, and they got that uh, clearance. So uh, this is uh, the issues from it as well. So Nigerians look forward to the outcomes, positive outcomes of this. That's the Punch newspaper. Nigerian Tribune is next. Utom to Buhari, declare Mieti Allah as a terrorist organization. That's the governor of uh, Benue State. Uh, rejection of state police, you are working against interest. Will of Nigerians Middle Belt Forum tells Buhari, uh, Buhari's excuse for opposing state police holds no water. Adibanjo is saying this. Nigerians will reject Buhari's preferred candidate. The uh, PDP is saying this. Okay, recalling his interview, he said, well, I will not name uh, my preferred candidates, otherwise he could be eliminated. You know, the president said, was quoted as saying that uh, recently in an interview. All right, from there, let's go to Daily Sun. Daily Sun is focusing on 2023. Military warns governors, politicians, frowns at using its uniforms, equipment to campaign. That's what uh, the Daily Sun is saying. From there, let's go to the national economy. Ten states target 1.1 trillion naira IGR to fund 2022 budget. That's the national economy. Business day is next. Agri growth under Buhari weakest since 1999, despite investment. All right, agri growth under Buhari weakest since 1999, despite investment. Right, that's what you have on the front page of uh, Business Day newspaper. The Vanguard newspaper is next and it says uh, 10 naira per litre tax on soft drinks, 15,000 direct and indirect jobs on the line. NLC, LCCI, MAN, Nasima, or MAN, Nasima are saying this. The federal government has no argument. Uh, NLC is saying this industry will suffer output uh, contraction. 40% revenue loss. MAN is saying this. LCCI sees job losses and seeks import prohibition. You know, and all of that is on the front page of uh, the Vanguard newspaper. The nation is the last one we're looking at now. Buhari to APC. Intraparty rift invitation to PDP victory. In, uh, Intraparty rift invitation to PDP victory. Delayed convention risky, says the president. No cover for corrupt politicians in the APC. Okay. All right. That's, uh, that's the Nation newspaper. So let's uh, look at it now and uh, go into the main discussions. Uh, Cheson Kouade is here, as well as uh, uh, Chris Kendingwandu joining me via Zoom. Now, Cheson, let me start with you on this. Recall that the former chairman of the APC, Adam Zoshombole, in one of his campaigns, outrightly said in public that anybody who crosses over to the party, your sins are forgiven. We have that on record. But the president is now saying, well, the, the fact that you come into the APC, you will not go scot-free. You know, what do you make of this, though? Uh, well, uh, the statement by uh, Adam Soshio Mole, you and I knew... Uh, the aftermath effect of uh, that. Uh, there was a serious uh, issue within the APC that led to his uh, exit. And uh, if you see the position of the president, I think the last seven days, our president has actually been very, very, let me put it, vocal and splitting uh, out some certain things to connote that uh, this is the, the last year before his exit out of office and is coming out to to state the obvious which certain people have been saying if one of your cardinal points is fighting corruption there are facts obvious to everybody that certain personality that currently are around the corridor of the president have certain things or certain questions 
to us uh, as regard the mismanagement of certain funds that you know, maybe in one agency or parastata they have worked and uh, it seems to have been looking off it but it's coming out to talk not just to do the talk now at least if all the other areas uh, is unable to fulfill that we should see because you see this corruption has actually affected us to the extent that the economic power of an average Nigeria has gone below what you can call the threshold. Yeah. And if this can be resuscitated, there are so many funds in the hands of an average individual. And these are not even being used within the country mm -hmm. to create, you know, possibly uh, work or employment. Some of them are actually being kept somewhere because yeah. of election. And, and we even heard some are even stashed in warehouses sometimes from the reports in, in the past where yeah. you see you see monies piled up in the warehouse. As if you are not loading uh, exactly. As if uh, you're loading, uh, you know, cartons of uh, noodles <laughs> or something. Noodles somewhere. If we have that money within the system, one way or the other, it, it goes a long way to generate. There, there's a multiplication effect. There, exactly. You, you are know, the expert in it, that. It, it mm. creates employment. Mm. You develop uh, uh, industry, factory. And even if such things are being done, I'm sure government, you know, part of their uh, uh, area of addressing this thing is plea bargaining. Mm. If you have invested such money down here and they can see the contribution that is doing, I'm sure <laughs> we can plea bargain and say, okay, these that have actually been invested to contribute to this, mm. we do. But majority are we are seeing this thing in the foreign accounts, preparing for elections. So the president should not just do the talk at this time on this corruption. He has said a lot about security. Let's come out and make sure that some of those people, as a matter of fact, does not come again to lead. We should, some of these people should be blacklisted once we confirm that some of the allegations against them mm. are, are valid. Right. So that we can serve, that can serve to make sure that people that are coming to power, make sure that they are coming to serve mm. and not just to siphon money. Because people have seen the area of politics as way of enriching themselves rather than serving the people. All right. Uh, well... Uh, one way or the other, we also know that it is the courts that will that will determine if this person is corrupt or not based on investigation, yeah, and we, then we, we, eventually the person becoming black. Uh, we so leave that it, to the CKN. Uh, yeah, no, of course that is I'm coming to CKN <laughs> now. <laughs> Chris, let me come to you now. Now the point there is, the president has said, well, cor corrupt practice. Uh, sorry, corrupt politicians or any corrupt person as it is. Uh, will not go scot-free whether you are in our ruling party or not uh, so are, are we seeing uh 2022 being a year that the president is going to be decisive because nigerians have been asking expecting the president to do something about corruption one of his three cardinal points that he brought into into office uh, recall too that in one of his uh, interviews the last few days he said well age is not on my side you know so Talk to us about that, Chris. Well, Mike, um, good uh, statement by the president. But if you ask me, I will say that these are just political statements for me. Why do you uh, think we're so? We're into an election year. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We're into an election year. So the president, as far as I'm concerned, is trying to boost uh, his uh, uh, personality and also boost the ego of his uh, party. Let me just give you three instances that came out of the uh, interview that he granted to national TV stations in the past few days. First, he talked about uh, who is going to succeed him, that uh, uh, that they have an idea of who is going to succeed, but he wasn't going to mention it uh, because he feels that uh, the person will be eliminated. That is talking about APC. Secondly, he also uh, talked about that if APC does not put its house together, there is the possibility that um, an opposition party will take over in 2023. is referring to APC. Then this talk, the one we are discussing now, he said that anybody that joined the a party uh, will not be shielded from um, uh, investigation, prosecution, and the rest of them if they are found wanting when it comes to shop. So that for me is also APC. So you can see that. All those, as far as is for me, is packaging what we call local finance is packaging. <laughs> but the president uh, has uh, practically spent seven years. If he couldn't use seven years to be able to deal with issue of uh, corruption, and he thinks that he can do it within the next one year, 
Um, I, I, I'm a pessimist when it comes to this. Uh, Mike, you can call me a pessimist. Yes. I, I but I don't know you to be a pessimist generally, so I cannot call you that right now. <laughs> so, yes, so uh, to me, uh, the president, don't also forget that the president also said that um, he's in a hurry, he cannot wait to leave office in 2023, uh, uh, that uh, age is telling on him and the rest of it. For me, what we are seeing is just a script written by the president. And the president is just uh, trying to give us more like a validatory uh, 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 speech uh, as he moves on towards the end of his tenure. But let me put this as it were. There are so many people that, just as uh, Shisora rightly said, they are within the corridors of power that we are being investigated for uh, alleged ground. And the word is used, to be used is alleged. Um, so when we are talking about it, within the, word, within the context, of um, um, law, they are all alleged because until they are taken to court and it has been proven and the courts have been able to uh, give a verdict on that, those remain within the realms of allegation. But let me, there have been instances, let's give a practical example. There was a governor from the South South that was being, uh, being uh, uh, what do you call it, that being charged by EFCC and so much allegations were leveled against him. The next thing he dropped shit went to APC, and he was appointed a minister. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Look before my mind to go hear that one. I, I don't then, even know uh, anything so, you're saying. So, <laughs> no, go ahead. So, Just that there that is, that is, that is a, a top-ranking uh, uh, senator within the Senate, a former governor in one of the states in the Southeast, that also was uh, uh, convicted. Yes, he was convicted. But for technicalities, he has been let go. Uh, by the court, and it's going around them um, now. The EFCC is going to, it's good. but what I'm saying in essence is that there are so many allegations of ground. Good enough, the president came out a few days ago that everybody involved with the um, pickering of funds at NDDC will be prosecuted and will be dealt with. This is where on this, I think today is 7th of January. I'm looking for the president sending that file to the AGF so that we can start immediate prosecution of those. That is the only way we can make an example of people that but. If you ask me, I, I will tell you for free that I am not too optimistic that anything will come out of this statement by the president because president practically has no time. And don't forget our litigation. It takes years. So will the president be around in the next three, four years that this litigation will, uh, will, will, will go through? He just have only one year to go. I think that it's better to believe that never. Let me agree to take him for his words. Let us see how he's going to go about it. There are already people that have been fingered let us see what will happen in the next few uh, weeks or months, as it were. But for me, as I say, my, it's just political rhetoric as well. Okay. Uh, uh, Shesson, the, the point there is, we all know anywhere in the world, when a president makes a statement, it, 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 has, it, has, it carries more weight. Yeah. It means more than what any average uh, uh, citizen would say. Now, the line where the president talked about his age, age is telling on me and age is not on my side and all of that, in the spirit of uh, inspiring people, leading people, and taking people to the promised land and assuring and reassuring uh, 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 citizens that are following, what, how, what does that statement mean or what impact would it have in people looking up to the president? Yeah, well, uh, the, the, that statement uh, is uh, worthy if uh, the president is coming to state that. But also, I feel president is not the only one doing the work. Mm. He has so many lieutenants surrounding him. And that's why I'm like, when you give those kind of words, you should have put together the apparatus to bring to bear that which you have said. You said it in one of your words that the judiciary mm -hmm. needs to play a very key role. And that was why I was saying my learned uh, uh, friend, friend mm -hmm. should be able to speak that. Too. But since he's coming with the pessimistic side of this, mm -hmm. based on the president, is to tell us that even when this president speaks, the judiciary may not be able, because they are, we, we've asked severally, can we set special courts? We are not uh, lawyers, but from our facts as accountants, we've been able to bring out right investigation to say this and this. Can we have special court to deal with this corruption on its own? Because it's, an it's, a, it's a pandemic 
as far as I'm concerned, to we business people, it kills faster than any other thing you can talk about. If you have a special cut and you have every fact during your investigation to all the person to ransom, definitely we'll just try that rather than saying for 10 years. I remember one of the people that my uh, learned friend spoke about uh, talking uh, taking 10 years. Mm. As far as I'm concerned as an accountant, can we talk about the time value of that money? You, if you pick one million now, you can't have that same one million. One million ten years ago, Mike, you and I know it's not. No, of course. It's, it's not the same it's not thing. not the same thing. Are we going mm. to build up interest if the judiciary are delaying so that that will even make even the corporate to say, no, judiciary, I think you need to make this very fast. You cannot just say you've stolen, you, you've stolen one million and we'll drag the kid for 10, 15, and, and after and that, we'll be talking about that, be one talking that one million. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, doesn't for we from the, from, from, yeah. the, uh, from the finance perspective. Mm. So some of the things that we can do again is to say fine judiciary we understand this if we have established this fact if you are prolonging the matter the number of years you do the number small simple compound interest mm -hmm. and saying for every year this is what this money we are mm -hmm. because if we have used that money judiciously this is what return yeah. is going to make mm -hmm. and i think that will set the judiciary arm where my friend belongs to to be on the first story of making sure these things are done mm -hmm. it's 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 not something that we have to wait forever and uh, well we they know the technicalities they know everything we don't know but we know the area where we can investigate and say from the fact before us do our investigation mm. this is what we have established so it's high time either to establish a special court or make sure that these things are brought to and on the part of the president saying is of age i think it's a message for 2023 mm -hmm. who are we bringing in if at the tail end somebody is saying is of age he has tried his best we all know that to lead you need energy mm -hmm. You need that vigor, that mm. tenacity. You have to be here and there. And you are not even even for those of us that manage small constituency. We know what it is. Mm. Not to say managing a whole nation. Mm. So it's to me, he has tried his best, and it's coming out to say, but it's a message for the citizen. Who are we bringing in for the next four years in 2023? All right, because. If age does not play the prominent role, somebody is giving us a filler. Mm. That fine, he tried his best, but as we speak, we should pat him at the back mm. that he has actually done yeah, yeah. so much. Pa pat me on the back. For I was thinking, for his age. I was thinking Nigerians will pat me on the back. You know, you should. You know, that's oh, how it looks. For his age, we should. Uh, he said we should. In one of the <laughs> in one of the uh, headlines we read earlier on. All right, now the uh, CKN. Let, let me let me come to you on this. Really, the, the president recalling 2015 when he took over, uh, well, when he was sworn, when he was sworn in. Let me put it in context so it doesn't look like when he was sworn in. Uh, part of what he talked about was the issue of uh, co fighting corruption and the need to set up special courts. The last seven years, we've still not seen that. Although you say you are pessimistic about this, but let us create a scenario where you are optimistic and we're going to see things the way they should have played out. Uh, what, wh how would this have played out really in the fight against corruption when the president is saying, whether you are in my party or you are in another party or wherever you are or you don't even belong to any party, you will not go scot-free if you are corrupt. Talk to us from the window of creating special courts. If we have to go that route, how challenging is it to create special courts for these things? Yes, uh, Mike, uh, uh, I think what we should be thinking about, uh, talking about, should be accelerated hearing of, um, of such um, suits. We cannot create special courts for everything. It's not possible. It's just unfortunate that judiciary is always the uh, Poor guy here. Whenever it comes to is so the hope of the common man. Yes, sir. Is the last yeah, hope. Where's the hope? When everybody is going about it, as if this judiciary that has, has the answer. Of, let me tell you, Mike. Everything concerning the court is based on evidence, hmm. and it's also the evidence that you present before the judge that he uses in determining the the judge does not. We don't have the power to manifest um, any evidence, hmm. even when he knows that you are saying the wrong thing. It's not within the judge to tell you. You know, you don't come into the arena as we say in law. You don't. You cannot come into the arena. So most of that, law people say, "Oh, so Mike, can we set up a, a special court for everything?" Mike, we are having this. 
insecurity. Have you been talking about the issue of setting up courts for uh, or to deal with the issue of insecurity and the rest of it? That's so it, it, it is not that easy. But the fact is that if the necessary security agencies and graph agencies do their, their job diligently and present evidence enough to the court, I am sure that most of these things will be dealt with as quickly as possible. Okay. I don't think as uh, setting up special courts for me is the solution. Okay. But I think that what we need to do is make sure that we have a, 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 a example of this. Let us share most of these people. Once we be able to identify them, let us make sure that they are sent to the court and let the court be the needful. The best we can do is that we can ask the courts, just as the, um, the CGN have done sometimes, give a time frame. Just as we done with that of politics, mm. give a time frame for issues concerning um, graft and the rest of them to be disposed of. Can we, within six months, this issue should be dis dis disposed of. That is the way to go, and that is the way I think we can be able to handle. They say that we should set up special. It will be difficult because any other issues that come up, are we going to set up a special? We have enough laws in our land, both in the constitution, in the graph, with the graph, the setting up of the graph agencies and the law, to be able to deal with right. the issue of corruption in Nigeria. But the problem is that we have the political will to get it done because okay. most of these guys are so powerful, and that right. is what is happening. Okay, we, we have to end it here now. Uh, let's just hope and pray that uh, somehow a good strategy will be brought on, on how to handle and dispense uh, 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 with, with, you know, with these uh, cases on time. So people can really get justice. If, you, if you're guilty, we know you're guilty. If you're not, we know you're not. So we can move on to something else. Thank you very much, uh, Chris K. Ndengwandu, for your time on the program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, Kwadi, thank you so much for coming as well. My pleasure. Always, Thank you. Mike. And we look forward Thank to a great weekend. Exactly. Have a fantastic weekend. And you too. Thank you. Right.